Can you hear that humming? I think it's some sort of insect outside. I'm sorry, I cannot control the insects. In other news due to popular request, I am taking 17 magazines, which One Direction member is for you quiz. Many people requested it, I promise. So this may be a shocker to many of you, but I actually do not subscribe to Seventeen Magazine, nor did I want to waste like the $5 that it cost to buy one of those magazines. So I found the quiz online. So here we go, we got the first question. What type of guy do you usually go for? Says the cute boy next door, the laid back popular athlete, the quiet mysterious guy in your art class, the serious super driven smarty, or the class clown? I don't know, probably a tie between the super serious driven smarty and the quiet, mysterious boy in my art class. I'm gonna say... the quiet, mysterious guy in my art class. Next. Oh no, you woke up late. Again? How do you make a thrown together outfit look perfectly polished? This is actually not that common of an occurrence. It used to be, I used to be very, very good at sleeping straight through my alarm. Now I have the opposite problem. I wake up even when I don't set my alarm at the exact same time that I would have set my alarm. Um, body clock or whatever. Um, Cardigan adds a classic all-American touch to whatever you're wearing. White heads complete your outfit. Obsessed with the colored denim trend? I'm really not obsessed with the colored denim trend. Crisp white button-down shirt with high-waisted jeans and fun necklaces? Ugh, that is, that is tempting. Preppy academic vibe, fitted blazer and skins. I think I'm gonna go with the preppy academic vibe and blazer. I, I have been known to rock the skinny jeans and blazer. Onward we go! School's out for summer. Yeah, for like another week. Or for most of you, not anymore. What are you doing with all your free time? Cross-country road trip with your bestie? Starring in your community theater's production of Grease? SATs? Honing your passing, dribbling, and throwing a sports camp with your team? I went to sports camp once. It was not a good experience. I'm gonna say theater production of Grease. Besides the boys of One Direction, which celeb gets your heart beating faster? Tyler Blacklearn? Pretty Little Liars, I've never actually seen that show. Josh Hutcherson, I also do not know who he is. Um, Rob Pattinson. Mm, uh, Justin Bieber. <sighs> Tom Felton, okay, Tom Felton, we're going Tom Felton because one, I know who he is and two, it's Tom Felton, onward and upward. Oh, there's only 11 questions? Oh, and I'm on five already. This is a short quiz to determine which member of One Direction is for me. I wish every decision in life was this easy. It's movie night and your crush is letting you pick your favorite flick. What do you choose? Footloose. Classic Disney movie. A thriller like The Hunger Games. I don't really count Hunger Games as a thriller. I mean, Die Hard maybe, but not a bad movie, just I don't know if I'd call that a thriller. Paranormal Activity? <laughs> Love Actually? Um... Oh, I don't know, probably Hunger Games. Well, not because it's a thriller. What words do you live by? Live in the moment? Be true to yourself. If you can dream it, you can do it. Don't take yourself too seriously. YOLO. Well, first of all, YOLO. I take YOLO to a very, very, very different place because I'm the person that says, go get your flu shot because YOLO. Or take your vitamins because YOLO. If you can dream it, you can do it is totally, totally just ridiculous, you know? As I'm taking this quiz, I actually think John Green took this very same quiz in a Wimbly Wombly video, because I definitely remember him talking about this question, because he said, you cannot do it just because you can dream it, because to dream about flying, try jumping off a cliff, it won't work. I don't know, I'm gonna say live in the moment. Flash forward 10 years from now, what are you doing? Competing for a spot in the Olympic Games. Go Team USA! Starring on SNL. Teaching music at your high school. Practicing medicine. Traveling the world and writing about it for your super hyphen popular blog. I didn't know super popular was hyphenated. I guess you learn something new every day. Um, I guess traveling the world and writing about it in my blog. What high school superlative would you receive? I think in my actual high school, the superlatives that I received, I honestly don't remember. I would check my yearbooks, but they're at my parents' house. Because I remember I got, I got, I remember the ones that I got, I just don't remember if that's what I got my senior year, which I feel like that's the one that really counts your senior year superlative. Um, I know, I think I got best hair once, maybe most talented or most likely to succeed, or maybe none of those because my hair, if it was good at one time, it's certainly gone to pot now. Um, maybe friendliest. What's your best quality? You know how to make people feel comfortable and at ease. Anyone who knows me in real life will attest that is absolutely not the case. You work hard to make your dreams come true, no matter what. Also not the case. You're fiercely loyal to your best friends, yeah. 
Super close to your family. Yeah. Ultra confident. Huh. I'm gonna say loyal to my best friends. I guess, I don't know. I don't really know if I'm that. You and your besties decide to try karaoke. What song do you belt out? A retro song. When you're not listening to the radio, you're making commit mistakes with all your parents' favorite music. Firework, Katy Perry, Come On Get Higher. I, I don't know what song. I know who Matt Nathanson is. I have heard the name, I've seen the face. I don't know the song. One Time by Justin Bieber. I know who the Biebs is, but I don't know which song that is. I guess a retro song. Um, I really don't think I would be belting out Simon and Garfunkel, though. I mean, if you're really familiar with their body of work, not a lot of belting. Oh, wait, okay, never mind, I lied. Um, there were only 10 questions. Page 11 was the result. And my One Direction love matches Zane? I, I think that's how you say his name, Zane? Please, One Directioners, correct me if I'm wrong. Z-A-Y-N, Zane? I'd say that, or Zane? Or Zayn? Zayan? I don't know, probably Zane. Don't know who he is, I think. I'm trying to think of actually how many members of One Direction I know. There's a Nigel? There's a Harry, I know there's a Harry. I think there's a Nigel or is he Niall? Is it Niall or Nigel? And I guess there's a Zane. Are there five of them? Six? That shows you how much I know about One Direction. People think I'm shy, but that's because they don't really know you. Zane is committed to his music career and would be just as devoted to you. Now, that sounds kind of contradictory, but uh, there you have it. Me and Zane, your OTP, OTP, OD, and me. <sighs> yeah, that just happened. So there you go, I took the which One Direction member is right for me quiz, and I got him. Man with a finger cross tattoo, which is like, he's always jinxing? Isn't that what you do? You say like, oh, oh I promise, but then you cross your fingers to say that you're not actually doing what you're gonna promise? I don't know. I, I'm thinking about this way too hard. That's what happened. I'll see y'all soon.